Hey everybody, welcome to New York City. As you can see, kind of an overcast, as usual, New York City sky. This is April 5th, April 10th. Um, so we are well into spring here, but it is cold, it is cloudy, it is overcast, it is damp, and it is New York City. What I want to talk about, remember all those idiots who were telling us we were going to have hyperinflation and interest rates were going to spike through the roof and the dollar was going to crash and the Chinese weren't going to lend us any money and all these ridiculous bullshit stories, which uh, MMT debunked long before these stories really started to spread into the mainstream. Um, and those people have uh, not surprisingly gone really silent recently because none of those things have happened i mean the dollar is is soaring you know uh interest rates are still at zero uh, there's no inflation in fact commodity prices have gotten crushed right gold has been really a shitty uh investment um but these people they don't think they just go away i mean they crawl back in their holes and they try to think of a new story to get everybody all worried and concerned because that's their game right i mean their game is fear mongering they peddle fear and some of these idiots have made a huge career on that uh, fear mongering and you know who i'm talking about so the new thing that they came up with uh that maybe you've been hearing is that you know well the dollar is going to lose its reserve status even though the dollar is soaring right now that's the thing the dollar is going to lose its reserve status right Basically, their argument is that the only reason why things are, you know, decent in the United States right now, at least compared to any other place in the world, is because the dollar is the reserve currency and countries are basically having to hold the dollar and they're financing us. It's, it's total bullshit, all right? It's a ridiculous argument. Um, so anyway, the, what, I'm, what I want to tell you is that right now, Despite all of their claims that the dollar is going to lose its reserve status, if you look at the data right now, central bank hold, foreign central bank holdings of dollars has never been higher. This is an all-time record high in dollar holdings of foreign central banks. So the rest of the world is accumulating dollars like crazy, like crazy. They're not, they're not reducing their dollar holdings. Okay, now... I personally think that we will one day cause the dollar, we will cause the dollar to lose its reserve status, not because it won't be a decision made by foreigners, it'll be our decision because we have this belief that we need to be this big export nation, we need to be competitive, we could only grow our economy by exports. The rest of the world kind of has that belief too, but I, I think in the long run we will win out and we will transform our economy into an export driven economy by keeping you know wages low uh, and, and other means the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the dollar in our financial system as a weapon basically as a geopolitical weapon i mean the treasury department has a whole section where they dream up schemes of how to use the financial system as a weapon they use it against russia with the sanctions, they use it against Iran, they use it against Venezuela. Okay, any country that basically does not agree with us, that is not aligned with our principles, whatever those principles might be, uh, I don't know, oligarchy, plutocracy, neoliberalism, corporatocracy, I mean, if you're not into that as a country, boom, you get hit with the dollar weapon. You know, you get closed out of the SWIFT system. You get your assets frozen. <laughs> so, I mean, after a while, the world's going to say, you, you know, it's too much risk with this dollar. We don't want it anymore. But that would be by our own hand. That, they want the dollar, okay? They want that dollar. They need that dollar. Um, so that's what I think. So, again, um, just, you know, when you hear this, this stupid line about the dollar losing its reserve status, look at who it's coming from. Look at who it's coming from. That's all I have to say. I mean, that should be enough for you to then go calm down a little bit and have yourself a good laugh. Okay? 
That's it for now, folks. This is Mike Norman saying see you next time. Bye-bye.